<laughs> you, my young viewers, is here! What is, what is up, peeps? How you doing? I'm filming this in the car, and I, I was gonna use a better microphone because I'm using my phones right now. I brought my live year, but the thing is, I have an iPhone, and I forgot my uh, adapter thingy, and I freaking hate myself because... I'm going to review season one of My Hero Academia since it has been a hot minute since I've even jumped into any animes. I have experienced MHA once for the first time since freshman year of high school. It was like great because I was all alone. I didn't want to socialize with anyone. So the only thing that I had, I guess, to comfort myself is to read new manga because at the time I only seen Dragon Ball Super, which was on air and it ended like at the end of my freshman year in 2018 of March. But anyways, I have been re-watching MHA to hopefully get into the story once again because it's been like three years since I've delved into the manga. MHA season one, I think I started on Monday and last night I just got into the first episode of season two. Season one of My Hero Academia. I forgot how good the storytelling is, but the most important part that stuck out in my mind is the theme. The theme of, theme of heroism protrudes very heavily throughout each episode, including the main character himself, Izuku Midoriya, aka Young Midoriya, you know? Oh! Stop! 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 The music is just awesome. The composer is a genius. Bless his soul. It really. It really sells each scene that it's in. Whether it's emotional, comical, action-packed, it just sells the scene in awe. You say brown people know about it. Anguish of the Quirkless, melodramatic, melancholy theme for Deku's moments. It's just awesome. The voice cast, I've seen the dub. I rewatched this season dubbed. And I gotta say, the dub actors did great. Animation's great too, you know, got like that Sakuga. There's not many complaints that I have besides like i guess people might call out like the characters that it introduced they didn't in develop them entirely like class 1a but hey season one i feel we just focusing on the main character izuku and his journey because we'd see him quirkless into forming a quirk and inheriting it and building up his body for it and him learning from his experiences using his quirk and I really like that about Izuku. He's determined, he is selfless, and he he embodies what true heroism is, doing something for others better than yourself. It doesn't matter if you'll wreck your entire arm or body as long as you save that one person. Throughout the season, I've been introspecting on like moments throughout the series on how it is good, like Bakugo. From Deku, he just sees him as a friend who's powerful. Through that, Bakugo gets annoyed by Midoriya because he thinks he feels like he's inferior to him, although he isn't. He's just seeing him as like any other person would, he, just like a person who needs saving. Season one, pretty good, pretty great, actually. I'm gonna give it <laughs> a nine out of 10 because I love it. And yeah, go watch it if you haven't. If you haven't seen anime at all, then I highly recommend My Hero Academia. Anyways, gotta go back to work. Although I'm not going to tell you where I'm working. See ya. Oh.